Wednesday, September the 7th, 2016, 7.29 in the a.m. I'm in Fitzjohns Avenue, the very bottom of Fitzjohns Avenue in North West 3, at the start of run 7 of the Knowledge of London, which is Fitzjohns Avenue up here at the bottom of Hampstead, down to Fitzharding Street off the bottom of Baker Street. Out early to do a few Knowledge runs, and I'm not having much success. I had to abort run 5 because I got to Centre Point St Giles' Circus and found they were digging up the entire road and you couldn't get into Oxford Street from the Oxford Street and I've just tried to do run six and hit that coming the other way. Um, Belsize Lane is closed, so close to the end of that I had to abandon that one as well. Hopefully more luck with run seven, Fitzjohns Avenue to Fitzharding Street. It's going to be leave by Forward College Crescent, Forward Avenue Road, Forward North Gate, Forward Macclesfield Bridge, right outer circle, branch right Clarence Gate, Forward Baker Street, left into Fitzharding Street, and when this contraflow light changes, I'll be leaving Fitzjohns Avenue by Forward College Crescent. College Crescent. Northways, the flats on the right, they don't ask. Anchored at the lights at the Swiss Cottage Gyratory, the Swiss Cottage pub over there on the right. Odie and IMAX behind that. You've got to set that in Finchley Road on the other side as you come up. Overground house over there, they certainly used to ask, the red brick building. Again, you'd have to set that on the left as you came up Finchley Road, TFL building. There goes Usain Bolt. I always thought he was black, but he did well to win those three medals again at the Olympics. This is Avenue Road, you don't call the Comply Swiss Cottage Roundabout on any of the runs. All of the roads do have names on the Swiss Cottage Gyratory. Twenty mile an hour limit down here, again no one will stick to that. The Polygon Flats on the right. Staggered junction of Ellsworthy Road on the left and Queen's Grove on the right, difficult to get across. And it really is surreal that you're going down a street, driving on the speed limit, and there are cyclists going past on both sides. I mean, I pedal a bicycle faster than 20 miles an hour on the flat. Put your mind down a hill. Acacia Road on the right, Sting used to live down there many years ago. Ghanaian Ambassador's House on the right, just before that crossing. I don't think they ask you Ambassador's Residences. You probably are at liberty to do so though. Across the junction of Allitson Road on the right and St Edmund's Terrace on the left. Prince Regent Court flats on left, London House flats on right. Don't like this Uber driver at all. Let him go. Now that is absolutely appalling, mate. You've popped that red light on the inside of a bike whose brake lights work and who was clearly stopping at it. Thinks he's in a hurry, but the standard of driving in this town is frankly utterly ridiculous.
And away we go, crossing Prince Albert Road into Northgate Regents Park, or through Northgate Regents Park. And forward onto Macclesfield Bridge. Right outer circle. It's going well on the inside. Really not keen on headphones on um, riding bicycles, and I've ridden bicycles a lot further than any of those have. Again, a 20 mile an hour limit, and all the cyclists are doing 25. Winfield House on the left, the uh, US Ambassador's residence. House, there you go in the northernmost gate and come out there. And the London Central Mosque on the right. Main entrance off Park Road round the other side. I despise this light. I used to do laps of um, Regent's Park on a bicycle before they put this light in because there was only one light. And if you started just short of that light, you could do a reasonable flying lap. Because nobody would step onto the crossings outside the zoo early in the morning. Anyway, Sussex Place on the right. London Business School and Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists in there. Renault behind me is sort of taking a look, even if I'm doing 33. Around the park. at Clarence Gate. Allsop Place on the left takes you down to the side entrance of Madame Two Swords and what was the planetarium and gets you around the no left turn sign onto Marylebone Road. The lights at Baker Street just down here. The Volunteer Pub on the right, the first thing as you go across into Baker Street. the volunteer. Hudson's Old English Restaurant on the right, Sherlock Holmes Museum on the right, Beatles Store on the right. And this is a pig of a light, it is just a pedestrian crossing, but for some reason it's red for about a minute and 20 seconds, which is taking the piss. Chilton Court on the left, two entrances to that. The TFL Lost Property Office on the left, and the side entrance to Baker Street Station, which is perfectly acceptable to set or leave from. Also on the left.
crossing Marylebone Road. Globe Pub, the six continents, the traditional gathering point for the indolent scum before matches at Wembley. Sherlock Holmes Hotel on the left, main entrance round the back in Chilton Street. Every man Baker Street on the left. There was a screen on Baker Street until fairly recently. There's Rubens restaurant on the right, oldest kosher restaurant in London, though they have moved only a few hundred yards about 20 years ago. Natural kitchen on the right. I'm not sure if there's only one of those. I think there are probably several in London. Across Dorset Street. Accurist house on the left. I used to ask that a hell of a lot. God knows why. Just about every junction it crosses the lights at George Street are longer than any other of the east-west roads running across this section of Marylebone. Continuing down Baker Street. Barracuda Club, one of the more traditional old-style casinos on the right. And left into Fitzharding Street. College of London runs 7, Fitzjohns Avenue to Fitzharding Street, leave by Forward College Crescent, Forward Avenue Road, Forward North Gate, Forward Macclesfield Bridge, right outer circle, branch right Clarence Gate, Forward Baker Street, left into Fitzharding Street. <laughs> 